Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is your genius. Guys, today I am with a new video around BLE Beacon and we will see how to use Raspberry Pi 3 as BLE Beacon as the Wi-Fi 3 has already BLE 4 built into it. So BLE Beacons are there for a quite some time around now and promises much more advantages or scope as compared to other beacons. This also get importance as nowadays people are moving towards handle smart devices which are pre-built with BLE and this provides a boost to the usage of BLE beacons. So basically there are many vendors in the BLE beacons market but through uh, like protocols they catches people's eye mostly are iBeacon of Apple which is actually a closed protocol and Addiston by Google which is open standard one. BLE beacons find numerous applications ranging from indoor navigation to smart marketing. So let's see how to use Raspberry Pi 3 as a Eddystone BLE beacon and we'll try to broadcast a URL. So let's check it out guys, let's get started. So guys I have connected my Raspberry Pi 3 my network and here I am having a access session over here using footy so uh, to make it like belly beacon let's first try out the available Bluetooth device on the pipe to do that I can use the command SCI tool then DV shows the devices or Bluetooth devices present on the board as you can see it has printed out the MAC address as well as the device name onto the console. So we will be using SCI0 now on to refer to the Bluetooth module present on the Raspberry Pi 3. Now to enable the BLE device on the Raspberry Pi 3, I can use the command sudo SCI config. So what it does is, it uh, enables the Bluetooth uh, module available like present on the Raspberry Pi 3. Now we need to configure the BLE module to be in advertising mode. So to do that, I can use the command sudo sci config. Then the device name, which is nothing but sci0. Or sorry, I just a command over here it takes another parameter that is the device name that is SCI 0 okay then to make it in advertising mode same SCI config SCI 0 but over here I will take really ADV so it configures the Bluetooth module as low energy advertising and it takes parameter either 0 or 3. So 0 makes it in connecting mode and 3 makes it not connecting mode. So we'll go ahead with non-connecting mode. Okay. Now we need to specify the URL whatever you are going to broadcast. So to do that, I'll use the command sudo sci tool then minus i then the device name that is SCI0 then CMD so CMD takes hexadecimal bytes to be configured or it contains the URL and all other parameters required to make it as clearly click on make it as ok so the first command it takes is 0 cross 0 8 so that is nothing but the bluetooth uh, command group that is then 0 cross 008 so it doesn't change with the URL you are broadcasting now uh, next uh, byte is the byte that defines the data bytes that is following after all okay. so just calculate the bytes and you just need to put on the hexadecimal equivalent out of it so actually I have used one online calculator that is for this calculating the total hexadecimal packet bytes so I'll give a link down below so that you can use it okay. now the next parameters is the 
I said, I said earlier so for me it is 1b so from the online calculator I am go just going to test the total hexadecimal bytes that follows okay. and OCF and 1B is the total length of data that is following okay. over here and this total data maximum that it supports is 31 bytes only okay. so now 02 is the length of the header that is like over here the flag data type 01 and your 6 is the flag data. The rest is like in length of this 3 AAFP, which is nothing but the, the UID data type and UID. Then uh, the 1316 over here that defines again the length of the data following afterwards and 16 defines the service data type AFE again the UID of the icon then 10 defines the friend type type that is it is again URL so it is 10 then 00 determines the transmission power 02 is for HTTP colon slash double slash then 7765 all this follows is the website URL that is nothing but we are genius dot in and zero zero all these are padding so let's enter this command so guys we have configured everything and let's get back to the mobile we'll see by using apps we can if we can discover the PLE module so let's open up I have I'm going to actually use two apps that is one is beacon scanner and another one over here that is physical wave so let's first open up the beacon scanner and tap over here the green button and it should see show our Eddystone DRE beacon okay now over here you can see it is showing the details of the BLE beacon okay and it shows you the distance from it then the transmission power and the receive signal strength indicator as well as the Mac ID of the Bluetooth device. So you can see as we go far away from the device, the distance gets this is but again this can be manipulated okay. then okay you can just uh, see over here the URL that is broadcasted by the PLU mode so we can just jump into the URL so now let's check the physical web app that I have installed into my Android phone shows you searching for beacons uh, I don't know why but uh, the physical web app seems to be not working with my daily beacon so that's ok so guys the beacon scanner works by itself but uh, I doubt the distance calculated by the scanner because uh, this is uh, not that much accurate but a second app that is the physical wave by google doesn't seem to work with this beacon uh, I have to just uh, try, try to talk it out so 
again so if you want to like shut down the particular blb con you can use the ci config then ci0 down just forgot to sudo so that's all of this guys thank you thanks for watching hey guys just me once again and hope you have liked my video if so just hit the thumbs up button so if you don't there is thumbs down button for you also and don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates okay see you next time with my new content that's all guys thank you thanks for watching